Early onset Alzheimer's is an uncommon form of dementia that affects 5-6% to of Americans before the age of 65. My mom happens to be one of these patients. It was a weird case in the beginning. She was just having these terrible headaches, which we assumed had been from a car accident she had been involved in a few weeks before. We took her to the hospital because she was still having headaches after five days, and they took us back to have an MRI. The scan was performed, and that's when we got the diagnosis. My mom, at the age of 38, had begun to overdevelop Alzheimer's cells in her brain. The fast brain production was what was causing her headaches. They told us the symptoms would be immediate if we took treatment medication, so we decided to do the treatment. The thing is, the treatment will not be a permanent fix and will only give her a couple more years to independently live. So we do puzzles and we have pictures to help her brain work and process. I can't imagine my mom without her mind. She would be empty and I cannot imagine how terrifying this is for her. My grandfather, Wayne Hunt, was diagnosed with Alzheimer's shortly before my high school graduation in 2017. No matter how many pictures we showed to him or how many times we recounted our memories, he hardly ever remembered. And if he did, it was a good day that we took for granted. He passed away on July 24, 2020, after his body lost its battle with Alzheimer's. Our family wants to bring awareness to this disease and how it not only tears away at the person with the disease, but their close family and friends. As his disease progressed, we mourned the father, brother, and grandfather we lost, even though he was still alive and physically with us. Sometimes seeing a person waste away and lose the person they are is harder than losing a person to death. Alzheimer's is a brain disease that slowly eats away at the brain material, causing a person to suffer memory loss and cognitive functions that eventually lead to death. On the right, you can see the horrible effects this disease has on the brain, and more than 5 million Americans are living with Alzheimer's disease right now. That number is expected to triple in the next 40 years. So what exactly is our charity about? Our charity, Remember, is dedicated to saving the lives of those who struggle with Alzheimer and early onset dementia. Each year, we host events dedicated to these lives in effort to raise money for research and treatments. There is no cure for this disease, nor are there any preventative measures you can take. Medicines and current treatments only slow the progression of the disease in a small percentage of patients. Preventative and anti-progressive treatments are rarely covered by insurance companies, so your money will help fund the research for a cure, preventative treatments, and help current patients with their medical bills in relation to their disease. We also support patients and provide grants for assisted living facilities that directly care for dementia and Alzheimer's patients since these facilities can cost upwards of $5,000 a month. Your loved ones deserve to be taken care of, to be themselves, and to remember. Come hike with us at Crowder's Mountain to raise money for Christie's Foundation of Early Onset. She is an avid hiker and always loves to look at the leaves changing in the seasons. We will be meeting at the entrance on November 14, 2020, and we would love to have as many people come out as possible. Show your support. It is greatly needed.